welcome. Thursday night yoga. I am Katie. I'm one of the teaching artists at the Naples Players as well as a certified yoga instructor in the area at Revival Yoga Fitness Studio. I'm happy to bring you a quick all levels yoga style flow. You don't even need a mat, just something comfortable to stand on, wear your comfy clothes. We're going to go ahead and get started. If you do have a mat, come to the top of your space. Separate the feet hip width distance apart, which you can measure with two fists. Close the eyes, take a deep breath in, and let that breath go. Good. This time, inhale, shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, let them go. We're going to do that twice more. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders down. Really exaggerate this time. Inhale, lift shoulders towards earlobes. Exhale, melt the shoulder blades down and together. Shine palms forward, thumbs face out. Slight lift of your heart space, stretching through the chest. And then long through the back of the neck. So notice if you're crunching to look up or really scooping the chin down. It's a nice neutral position. We're gonna to begin today with a bit of connection. That's what this practice is all about today. Connect to the breath, connect to the body. We take an inhale. Slow exhale back out the nose. Connect to the breath, inhale. And exhale. Last one, see if you can really slow it down from the soles of the feet, you're inhaling, top of the head, exhale, breath travels all the way back down. Good work, try to keep the steady controlled breath going throughout the rest of your practice. And when you are ready, open the eyes, let the light come to you. I'm gonna take a a deep breath in as you reach arms up overhead, growing as tall as you can today. Then grasp the right wrist with the left hand. Exhale, bump hips to the right, lean over towards the left, even footing between the two feet, however. Stretching through the side body. Lift back up, switch the grip on the wrist, right hand over left. That encourages you up and then over. Beautiful, inhale, rise all the way up, separate the hands, and then exhale, bend, create this waterfall effect as you forward fold. Let the head be free, let it be heavy, shaking it no and yes. Walk hands over towards the left, stretch. Back through center and over towards the right. Keep that breath going. Back through center. Good, keep the hands down and step the left foot back so you're in this low lunge shape. This might already feel like a really big posture for you. If that's the case, that's all right. Just breathe through it. You also have an option to lower the knee down. Good, so wherever you are at, Pull the heart space a little further forward, shoulders away from earlobes. Exhale, slowly release. Turn on the back foot so that the left toes face the left edge of the mat. We're gonna rise up, warrior two. Arms spread from side to side. I'm trying to stay in frame for you all. Good, and now in this warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, hug everything in towards the center. So you'll feel the low ribs knit in, the low belly pull in, and then the shoulder blades pull together so that you can gaze out over the right fingertips. Good, how's that breath? Reverse triangle, straighten the front leg, bring the right arm up by the ear. You can stay here or tilt back behind so that you're stretching through that right side body. Make sure you're not locking out that front knee. Good work. Exhale, hands come down, bend back into the right leg. 
We're going to step back into a downward dog. Right foot meets the left. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Walk the hands back towards the feet. Forward fold at the back of your mat. Check that distance. So um, two fists between the feet. And then we're going to rise up, chair pose, Utkatasana, sink hips back, bring arms forward. I'm going to position myself a little better for you. So it's okay that the legs aren't together. We're playing with that space, reaching the arms forward. If that's uncomfortable in the shoulders, just bring the arms forward in front or create more space between the hands. You're going to start to feel the quads light up, biceps light up. Exhale, keep low in the body as you bring arms back behind, palms face down, airplane chair. But you're trying to touch the pinkies together. Good, inhale, rise back up, chair pull. Exhale, forward fold. Walk the hands back out in front of you, downward dog. Full breath in, exhale. Lower to the knees, find extended child's pose. Big toes come together, knees separate, so that you can sink yourself back into this child's pose shape. Forehead comes down onto the earth. And take three full breaths. Inhale into your back body. Exhale. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, stretch. Once more, inhale. And exhale. Rise up to tabletop position. Hands come underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Taking three rounds of cat cows. So inhale, lift tailbone, lift chest. Exhale, round tailbone, hug belly button up towards spine, chin towards chest. Twice more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Nice work, neutral tabletop position. Extend the right leg back behind, kick that wall, and then exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Low lunge, that back knee is lowered this time. You're going to walk the right hand to the inside of the right foot, and then slowly walk that right foot out so that the toes are facing the upper edge of the mat, or if you are not on a mat, your knee is in line with the toes, all going in the same direction. So this is known as lizard pose. We're not going to be here for very long. Just enough to get this big expansive stretch through the top of the left hip crease. At the same time, we're creating that constriction in the hip crease of the right leg. So we get that fresh blood flow to an area that um, could really use it. Good. Slowly send the hips back. Walk the right foot back in line. Curl the left toes under to lift left knee. Step the left foot up to meet the right. Forward fold back at the top of your space. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach for the ceiling. Exhale, hands come down to heart center. One more side. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, fold, bending through the hips. Halfway lift, inhale, think about sending the crown of the, for, or, uh, the, crown of the head forward, tailbone back. Exhale, release. Good, hands plant down, right foot goes back this time, left foot is in front. If you need to help yourself out, please do. Yeah, no shame in asking for help, even from yourself. And we're playing around with this lunge. Remember, there's the option to lower the right knee down. Wherever you're at, feel that stretch, that strength. Beautiful. One more breath in. 
One more breath out. Turn the right toes towards the right side of the mat. We're going to rise up, warrior two. And all of the same cues as before, hugging everything in towards the center line and bringing the left knee towards the left toes so that your left knee eventually stacks directly on top of the ankle or maybe slightly behind. There's a really wide stance here. You can glance at the video, check out my warrior two, and then make it your own. Gazing out at the left fingertips. Straighten the left knee, bring the left arm up by the left ear, stay here, or exhale, tilt yourself back, reverse triangle. One more breath in. Exhale, hands come down to frame the left foot. Reversing everything as you step the left foot back into downward dog. Last downward dog. Feel that space throughout the backs of the legs and the back body in general. Press into the L's of the hands. So where the thumb and index finger are, that's gonna help with any wrist pain. Take a full breath in. Exhale. Walk the hands to the back of the mat. Coming into our chair pose one final time. Sink the hips back, reach arms forward. Take a full breath in. Exhale, airplane the arms, palms shine down. Good, inhale, reach arms back up. Exhale, hands come down. And then walk back into your downward dog. Transitioning into your extended child's pose. Big toes together, belly comes between. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale up, tabletop position. Get those joints stacked. And when you find stability, send the left leg back behind. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Coming into your lizard pose. So walking the left foot slightly out. You can really see it on this side. Um, so you can see my toes are angled kind of 45 degrees. The knee is following the toes and I'm getting this opening through the hips. If this isn't accessible to you at all, feel free to come back to that low lunge position. We'll just meet you there. Otherwise, if you're in lizard pose, send the hips a little further forward, really engage that part of your body, the hips where we hold so much stress. Try turning the corners of the mouth upwards. Beautiful. Hips go slightly back so that you can maneuver the toes back to the center, coming to that low lunge. Curl the back toes under, lift the knee, step the right foot forward. Good, final moment. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Close the eyes. And I'm going to guide you through three more breaths. Bow the forehead towards the fingertips. Exhale all your air out. Empty, empty, empty. Inhale, fullest capacity. When you think you've reached it, take an extra sip of air and retain the breath. Slowly let that air go. Empty, empty, empty. Inhale. Extra sip. Hold. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. And exhale. Stay connected to your breath and your body today, friends. Let me know how you feel after this practice. 
if there's anything else that you would like, you're also welcome to lay down wherever you are at and find a final Shavasana, highly recommend. If you have a little extra time, please do so. Otherwise, we'll seal practice today with one final breath in. And as we exhale, we say, Namaste. Thank you very much. Take good care, friends.